Well, so far so good. Um, but I'm not very optimistic about. I'm I'm a bit a bit skeptic about this. This, uh, this, Why is um, that? Is that something? Is this something you know? I mean, you've heard, or you're just it's from the past experience, is it? Yeah, it's just from the past uh, experience. You know, we, you know, when, yeah, uh, people lack, um, and uh, you know, when people lack education, you see, in especially in Nigeria, we've got too much. People who have never been to school, who doesn't understand the yeah, weaponized uh, the illiteracy. Uh, yeah. So, and then all this, this, uh, uh, you know, the the way we normally, our elders, our uh, parents normally talk to us, or uh, know the who uh, the son of whom you are, and this, you know, this kind of talks that make make us to believe that oh, we shouldn't. Go beyond our our boundaries that we should know, and uh, may perhaps may, maybe that would be you know something to consider for us. You know that those are one of the factors that I think that it might hinder the out, outcome of or the you know the outcome of this uh, protest. But, say right. Okay. Let's just um, finger cross. Um, uh, I know the first the first guy that first called he made a valid point saying that uh, people need, need need to strategize, but the people who have to strategize have to be people who at least who have been to at least secondary school who know how to read and write who understand a bit of you know uh, tactic. Uh, so and Nigeria is not the case, and now we are even dipping. They are even making the population to be even more on on limit that they they don't you know so that's so we shouldn't um, uh, that they will take advantage of people's uh, lack of uh, exposure uh, poor education yes. lack of it entirely uh, to get yes. all of them to either not participate or just be disruptors that too that that. That's I very I honestly one hundred percent I want this to happen. Yes, I want it to happen, but I'm a bit reluctant as well because we shouldn't say too much when nothing is is happening yet. Now that they have now, you know, the the government, they know the weak points of the people. They know that okay, when food is there, when they provide some food, people will relax. Yeah. They will quickly forget food, what uh, what is happening. Uh, mm -hmm. it's always Okay. And then, even though some people yes. condemn that, they are like, uh, "No, don't go and do protests where you are going to be dancing, singing, and eating food." I know that's not well. I don't even know which yeah. of them these of these advices we should take, right? But with the state mm -hmm. of what is going on in Nigeria, it's not a bad idea if uh, food is provided. To be honest, so, you know what I mean? Yeah, if I'm if I'm if I'm truly skilled enough to to get this comic cool characters on you know how to set up all this kind of thing on on the uh, on the website you know try to make some animation make it comical and you know and passing this information that look this is the benefits if you do this if you don't do it this is what is going to happen on the long run you will be more deep into so, 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 poverty Yes, yeah, so it's a long way, and uh, so we have the, it? Yeah, you know, have own, the, you know my, own, uh, my own feeling, right? I have seen things, yeah. too, and I should be skeptical, but I've seen great stuff that makes me feel confident, right? That uh, this is going to happen, and it's going to happen in a very big way, okay? Uh, I want it to happen, it is, yeah, I know it's gonna, it's going to happen, but my own but, kind of, yeah, my own worry. Is that I want it to last. I want it to. I want it to be different. I want. I want it to have a result. Sure, you get. I want people to see yeah. the effect of what they are going to demand for. So I do not want this to be another, you know, another means of uh, just another missed opportunity kind of shot. You get. 
So yeah. I really wish you know, it works. You know, I don't think it will, yeah. but I'm not sure if it's probably just going to work. You know, yeah, uh, you know, if if people if if you can understand that number is powerful because yeah. um, the amount of the police we have in Nigeria and the army is not even up to a million, right? If you look at it, and half of them, they are somewhere in the um, big madam or big boss kitchen. Uh -huh. So that's why they were a bit um, more. Um, you know, they 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 tend to to tackle situations before it happens. All these are our forces. They start putting on their new uniform, make it look as if they are really, you know, uh, they are a show of force. Yes, yes. So, nonsense. Yeah. Yes. So this type, this knowledge has to be, um, uh, you know, um. Let people understand this that look, there's nothing, it's a facade, there's nothing behind it. All we need is a, the numbers matters, and a uh, the amount of places that is not governed in Nigeria is far greater than places that is actually being uh, where there's a sign of government in Nigeria is so vast that most of the places you won't even know is, it, is there any government ruling this country. Apart from the capital cities, you know, in every each, each state, which you know, we know that okay, there's government. Like, just be like, uh, uh, this, this can yeah, be not real. Yeah. Like this is not real. Yeah. Hmm. yeah. So well, I don't. Well, that's that's my bit for today. But uh, yeah. I just wish that. Uh, I know. I know. So I'm going to pick um, yeah. one or two things from what you have actually, I mean, shared. They have already. Yeah, yeah, I'm so yeah, I'm not able to use <laughs> yeah, say much, but okay. I hope that will be yeah, don't worry. Enough you it's just like what we do every <laughs> night. Sometimes we all need to know that uh, the effect of what we have done or say may not be something you're going to be aware of in a couple of days to come, but you are going to see it manifest and you'll be like, Oh, I suggested that. Um, I think I, you know what I mean? Yeah, you are listening, yeah, okay, and indeed. Thank you. Uh, they are, they are preparing to. Baba, you have a good one, okay? <laughs> Let me you take another one. Yeah, we are. Thank you. So I have uh, another donor on the GoFundMe. The GoFundMe. You see, the GoFundMe, you can see that yourself. The link is there. Even if you are not donating, you can see all the donors. Okay. I've got Obechi. Thank you, ma'am, for that. Uh, for your generosity. Okay. In a circle. Good. So uh, that link is still there in the comment. If you've missed it, right, I can repost it, uh, you know, for you. I actually had it pinned on YouTube. It's pinned up there. On Facebook, it's also pinned. Please use it, okay? So far, so good. I think uh, my, yeah, my uh, fundraiser has reduced now to about 600, okay? 650 or so. Right, so I still have about 650 pounds to 700 pounds to go. You know, 650. So thank you, please. Uh, hang on. Also, like I said, uh, when it comes to the uh, Yoruba Union Summit that is going to take place next month, 23rd of uh, August, so the 25th of August, where we have uh, the members of uh, the Union, the Yorubas from all over the world, already. Uh, book this place, or oh, sorry, booked a space. You can book one too, right? Use the link in the comments if you haven't already. Please check it out. Mm -hmm. Nice. I do have another color. Yeah. Hello. Hello, Mario. How is it going? I am very well, old man. How are you doing yourself? I'm good. Thanks for everything that you do. Thanks, man. Thank you. Please. Um, so Mario, I was going, I'm just calling regarding the, um, the protest. Um, I think I will urge every Nigeria, all of us that are here, if you know anyone um, that is in the police, in the military, in the service, uh, I think you should call them and tell them that on the day of the protest, they should stand aside and not shoot anyone. I, I think that's a very important message for we to be passing on to 
the people that will know that are in the place. Friends or family. That's, that's good. Yes. Okay. Yes, yes friends and family. Game, but psychologically, say it to them. Just so they, they yes. know you are interested in what is going on. Exactly. Mm. Yeah. So I've, I personally have passed my message on to the people that I know that are in the forces in Nigeria. And I've made it clear to them that on the door of the protest, you just stand aside because. Um, well, everyone is complaining. They, even themselves, they are complaining that the, the country is in a mess. You know, people are suffering. Uh, people are hungry. They can't. They can't buy anything. The inflation is is crazy. Um, uh, my mom is currently here in the UK, and if my sister from Nigeria keeps calling her that things are ridiculously expensive. That you go to the market today, tomorrow we go back. The prices have gone up. That the thing is completely. It's gone out of hand. That is crazy. Um, so I, I, I suppose that's a little message to be passed on, so that people can, you know, call call people that you know that are in the forces. You, they might not take it seriously, or they might just dismiss it. But at least you've done something, um, you know, and you you sold the city that mind. I mean, in fact, um, you, see, you know something about that is well, as well is that uh, you will be surprised at how effective that your phone call will be on them. You try it, mm. try it first. So I encourage people to do so. Right? Because yeah, I've done, I've done that already. I, I, like I said, I know people no, that are I'm in the forces in Nigeria. I'm talking to our audience now, like you are doing the same, right? Say, please, so if you are watching this video, you may not know how effective that phone call would be when you pick up your phone and call that your friend or that your brother or your sister and say, hello, I have something to say to you. What is it like? Yeah, exactly. In your, in the, I mean, your barrack or in your place there when it comes to this upcoming protest. And then you talk to them and say, listen, do what you can. Please do not be part of those who are going to go and attack those people. Talk to your colleagues as well. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. And then that message just keeps going around. Yeah. And then secondly, um, like, by you go, I always, for, for me, I always pay attention to the numbers. Like, I'm, I'm, I look at the data behind anything. So I'm going to talk about this Dangote refinery. I know people always throw their arms so they hear about dango they talk about monopoly and all that stuff but if you look at the numbers behind this dango refinery this is the this is the one project that i believe can move nigeria to the next level and we i think as nigerians to be screaming to make sure this dango refinery works what i mean it works is like if you imagine according to the, the data that nbc normally released apparently they spend about 2.4 billion dollars importing finished product, I mean, I'm talking about crude, finished crude into Nigeria, like petrol, diesel, and other, into Nigeria, $2.4 billion a month. Yeah. yeah, in a year, that is $29 billion. Do you know what that would do for the Nigerian economy, Mayugo? Hmm. Just, just, just think about that, $29 billion. That's forex, that's massive. And before you have send so much to even access such a forex as well, man. Yeah. So imagine if you not, if you split that money into like nine different parts. So you split it into down twenty nine billion. If you split it into nine different parts, you will still have some fusions left. So you get about thirty three billion dollars. Imagine if, if Nigeria spent three billion dollars on security, that will give them about two hundred fifty thousand new um like either police or trained guards that can reduce this issue of insecurity. And that money can even pay for them for 10 years. They can, they can pay the salary for 10 years at $100 a month. Mm. You know, so that's massive. Yes. And then you look at that, you, you invest $3 billion in education, uh, $3 billion in healthcare. You know what that means? If you a genius, you know what that means? spend $3 billion on it in Nigeria. Do you know what that means? Yes, means in a, yeah. exactly. So I'm just looking at, if you look at the sector, $3 billion in education, $3 billion in healthcare, Three billion dollar in critical infrastructure, three billion dollar in improving our electricity, yeah. three billion dollar in improving mechanized farming, three billion dollar in building technical schools for the youth so that they can be equipped and learn skills that can grow, make the country grow. Three billion dollar to build houses for the Nigeria people, housing for people. And then three billion dollar to give to innovators, people that can come up with ideas that can grow the country's economy. Do you know what that means? Do you know what that would do for Nigeria economy, Mario? Go. But I, I don't know why these people now you can only imagine because uh, yeah, but I don't I don't know why these people me, that are... just remind me of uh, what Nigerians are actually losing. Eh? Yeah, criminals, man. And what it's, 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 I mean it's crazy. Yeah. Yes. 
So I, I think we should we should always look at the numbers behind anything. Yeah, yeah. So like what I say, well, I've done I've done like just a little breakdown, but and I, I've not even gone in detail because I can actually sp- splash that and tell you what each those three billion what they can provide for the economy. Yes, and that is massive. That can that can grow the Nigerian economy massively. And people will not be talking about poverty. Mm. But I don't know that these people that are in, in power, I don't understand what is their aim. Conveniently, right? They will conveniently, comfortably sign papers that says we are spending over two to three trillion naira on just luxury for ourselves. Without blinking. Yeah. And when it comes to yeah, but that's- when it comes to investing in Nigeria or Nigerians. They begin to find reasons why it's not going to be that easy. It's never that easy. And therefore, since it is not going to be easy to do it, they would rather not just do it. Just move on like that. Yeah, but the thing is that Michael, what I don't understand is like I sometimes I I I I think about what will make a Nigerian leader not to do these things. Either they really, really hate the country and their people, or they either they've lost completely lost their mind because at the end of the day, if you invest in your people, mm-hmm. if you invest in your people, you will end up making more money. God bless right? you. I thought because I'm not an accountant, a professional one, that I shouldn't probably be saying that uh, with confidence in public. I said these guys have no, they have no brains. You see, if they are able to actually build their economy, invest all this stolen money in Nigeria, right? Not only that they will become richer. Another because they will be they will strategically be managing these things, right? And they can make clean money. The country, the citizens can live good and standard life, right? So if you stay exactly. this money and you take them out, you are not even making real money. You are just you're just stealing whatever is available, right? And to yourself, you are making money. That's not it. So they, I, 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 they are not. Yeah, but are you not are you not deciding as well, Mario Go? Yes, sir. That's why I always, that's why I always tell them like when I've been fitted a bit to Nigeria, I say Nigeria lack critical thinking. Most Nigerians lack critical thinking because you understand that if everyone is doing much better, yeah. one you will not need more security to be going around with you. You don't need hundred mobile police officers to follow you because you're more you're most likely to nobody will attack you because everyone is nobody busy doing their own thing, making a different. Yeah, they are busy with their lives yeah. and all that. Their life, exactly. So I, I don't know. This this these people I I like there's a lot going on and and, and, I'll, and I'll end with this, Marigo. I think if Dan Gote is really serious and they are fighting him about this, he knows what to do. He should roll out one million dollars or two million dollars to sponsor the protests and let's see what will happen. <laughs> They should stop yeah, all it it. complaining, lamenting. In yeah. America, right? Billionaires, who knows that their businesses is coming under attack, the way they feel, they will never keep quiet on whoever is probably in charge of their country. In America, exactly. Today, They're not just going to the press. And now in America, They're not just going to the press to be complaining. Uh, the billionaires, uh, they're either Republican or Democrat, and they are not hiding it. They are saying it publicly. Exactly. Their life depends on it. Exactly. So if Dangote is serious yeah, about yeah, he yeah. wants this refinery to work, mm-hmm. let him sponsor the protests. I know he can't come out and say that directly, but he can do it via proxy. Right? right? Let him bring $2 million for this protest. And then he sits back and says, well, what will happen to Kalu? Mm-hmm. It doesn't, nobody, nobody will tell Kalu that there's fire on the mountain. Nobody. You know? Nobody. But I think the, the Nigerian people must, must force these people to rethink yes. about the country and Try and look after look after the Nigerian people. That's all I have to say, my ego. Thank you. I mean, people should not say nothing will happen. They will not do anything. It's because you are not doing anything. If you do something, exactly, you can make them do a lot. Yes, exactly. God bless you. Uh, my ego, thank you. I appreciate I appreciate I you taking my call. Thank you. God bless you, man. Thank you so much for uh, adding that perspective to the gist as well. Okay, you have a wonderful yeah. Night, thank right? you too. There. Thank okay. you, my Cheers, man. Bye bye. So um, we have. All right, we have, I think, a 10 minutes to go, okay? I'm not sure it's up to that, okay? But I can possibly still pull it off. But I go say, uh, I go say thank you to, to my donors, okay? Because we are already rounding the top uh, quick. I mean, slowly, slowly, uh, first thing first. Uh, right, again, I've not got any news. So I'm just going to take this. Hello. 
Hello, boy. Oh, princess. Princess Balogu, how are you? Hey, Baba. I'm fine, you? I'm very well, too. Surviving. Good, Good evening to everyone. Oh. <clears throat> My Yes, ma'am. I, I, 